one of every four American children today lives in a single parent home. And though the circumstances may vary, the reality is that solo parenting is often stressful, demanding, and hectic. Being a single parent can result in added pressure, stress, and fatigue. Stay tuned to learn seven tips for coping with being a single parent. Hi, I'm Kim Feeney with Butterfly Beginnings Counseling, and welcome to my channel. I am a licensed independent social worker and a registered play therapist supervisor with over 10 years of experience helping children and families lead healthier emotional lives. And I'd love to help your family too. So hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of our latest content. Child rearing can be difficult under any circumstances. And without a partner, the stakes are higher. As a single parent, you might have sole responsibility for all aspects of the day-to-day -day child care and running of the household. And this can be overwhelming to say the least. So let's jump right into our first tip to help you cope with some of these added stressors. Number one, set up a support system. All single parents need help. Whether it's someone to watch the kids while you run out to do errands or simply someone to talk to when you feel overwhelmed, lean on others, work out a carpool schedule with other parents, join a support group for single parents, or seek out social services. Call on loved ones, friends, and neighbors for help. Faith communities can be very helpful resources too. Tip number two, maintain a daily routine. Try to schedule meals, chores, bedtimes, and other family functions at regular hours so your child knows exactly what to expect each day. A consistent routine will help your child feel more secure and help you feel more organized. If your child is struggling with sleep, grab my free sleep strategies guide using the link below in the description. Number three, be consistent with discipline and set limits. Explaining household rules and expectations to your child and enforce them. Children thrive when they know which behaviors are expected of them and which rules they need to follow. If you are divorced or separated, work with your spouse to create and observe consistent rules and methods of discipline. If your child has other caregivers, talk to them about how you expect your child to be disciplined as well. Tip number four is to abolish the word guilt from your vocabulary. Don't blame yourself or spoil your child to make up for being a single parent. It's always easy as single parents to feel guilty about the time we don't have or the things you can't do to provide for your child. But your own sense of well-being it's better to focus on all the things you do accomplish on a daily basis and all the things you do provide. And don't forget about all the love, attention, and comfort that you are responsible for giving them. Don't try to be the perfect parent. Accept the fact that you can't be both parents. Just do your best. Number five is to take time for your children. Even though the piles of laundry and dishes may beckon, set aside time each day to enjoy your kids. After all, isn't that what parenting is about? Spend quiet time playing, reading, going for a walk, or just listen to some music together. The most important thing is to focus on the love between you and your child and your relationship as a family. Remember to praise your child and give encouragement along with your unconditional love and support. Number six is to remember to take time for yourself. It's important to schedule free time for yourself. Even something as simple as reading a book, taking a warm bath, having a chat with a friend, setting aside a little personal time will give you a chance to refuel. Include physical activity into your daily routine. Make sure you eat a healthy diet and get plenty of sleep yourself. Arrange time to do activities you enjoy alone or with friends. Give yourself a time out. Arrange for childcare at least a few hours a week. Comment below and tell me what your favorite self-care activity is. And our final seventh tip is to stay positive. It can become easy to be overwhelmed by all the responsibilities and demands of single parenthood. Despite all your feelings though, it's important to maintain a positive attitude since your children are affected by your moods. It's okay to be honest with your child if you're having a difficult time, but remind him or her that things will get better. Give your child an age appropriate level of responsibility rather than expecting him or her to behave like a little adult. Keep your sense of humor when dealing with everyday challenges. 
Being a single parent can be challenging and rewarding. By showing your child love and respect, talking honestly, and staying positive, you can lessen your stress and help your child thrive. Don't forget to grab my free sleep strategies guide using the link below in the description. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a friend. Thanks for watching, and wherever you are in your day, hug your child and make it a great one.